are we ready to draw this now in perspective in the plan? I have darkened it up my grid ever so much just so that you can see again what I'm going to do here. In this section here, it's this uh, area that that octagonal prism will be drawn in perspective. So what I need to do is construct a circle first. That's going to be important. And once I've constructed that circle, I will draw diagonal lines through that. And now where that circle and those diagonal lines hit, I now have places where I can take my straight edge and just connect the dots. So that's how in this perspective plan, I'm going to recreate the octag octagonal prism. So I know I want a circle here. And going back to that plan of what we did here, I'm just going to take right now, <laughs> I'm just going to draw a straight line here through here, knowing that, and I'm going to just technically my, the outer limit of my circle will drop ever so slightly below that. In fact, to be honest, I'll give you a sense of what's going to happen. If I just drag this portion of the grid out and I split it into two, bear with me here. If I split this into two, this is the outer limits. I'll just drag that back into the perspective. This is where my actual center point axes of that ellipse will be. So one more time, my ellipse is going to be, this is its one axis, this is the other axis. So this will be where it hits here, 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 and here. And I need to draw that ellipse need it to touch here, need it to come around here, and go back through here as best I can. And then what I'm going to do is draw a diagonal line through that point, and where it hits a circle, it's key. Draw another diagonal line through that point, and where it hits is key. And then I will connect all of those points and I will have now represented an octagon in plan, in perspective. And I'm going to do it one more time, but this time in good. So you get the sense of what that shape is going to be, what that shape is going to be like. So I have actually drawn myself a guideline here. I have got my horizontal axes, and it is going to end up, there's one point there, one point there, one point here, and one point here. And because it's a true ellipse, I don't want to get too caught up by the perspective there. And now I'm going to carefully draw that ellipse hitting there, coming around. And this is not fully the octagon yet because I need to get the facets drawn. So when you're happy with your shape, um, and later on I'm going to show you how to actually draft an ellipse. Not quite yet. Now I've got that ellipse, I've got the circle, but it is elliptical in perspective. I'll draw myself those diagonal lines through corner to corner. And where it hits on that circle is an important point for the, the octagon. I need to get eight points to join it together. One there and one there. And now I will take this straight edge and I will literally connect all of those points together. So starting with that left side. Like so, and this is just in plan. Then I have to elevate it after this. So good practice is what this is. And these don't go back to a vanishing point. I could. You can stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that later. But right now all I want to do is just connect all of those points together. And now I have the plan of the octagon. Now we're going to elevate this information, which will be a whole separate section.